Hey everyone, welcome back this week. It's been a few weeks off, but we're excited to uh, share a little bit of our week with you. Today is Saturday, January 14th, and we're starting today because the Niners are playing the Seahawks. About to sit down and watch that game, but before I do that, we had a little bit of a break from our storms uh, for the last couple of hours. Carrie and I just went for a walk because there was a break in the rain. This morning it was storming and, and the wind was whipping. Wasn't too bad today, but you probably have heard about all the storms here in California. Thankfully in our area, we haven't gotten hit too hard, but there are some others in the Sacramento area, in the Bay Area that have really gotten hit really badly. We have friends in both places and family. So uh, we've been staying in touch with them, making sure they're doing okay. But we, we've even had a few friends that were without power for two or three days. It has been rough. Thankfully in our area though, here in Modesto and in, in this part of the Central Valley, it hasn't been too bad. Uh, we fared pretty good. But one of the things that comes with a lot of rain with our pool is I have to drain it. So that's what I'm gonna do to start the week off with you guys before the Niners game starts. All right, well, I got the pool emptied out as much as I wanted to. Niners game is about to start. Got some lunch ready. Let's go Niners. Before we go to the Niners game, Carrie thought it was really important for her to let you guys know what she is making for lunch. It's a cottage cheese protein bowl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that sounds and looks horrible. Hey! I'm glad you like cottage cheese. I think it's curdled milk, but you know, teach their own. Enjoy it. Here we go, it's kickoff time! Don't worry, I won't be doing play-by-play, -play, but the Niners started the game with three and out and sacked Smith. Game's starting good so far, but let me show you guys what I meat for lunch. <laughs> it's leftovers from last night, having meatloaf, and I'm trying this uh, Capital City Mambo Sauce Sweet and Hot. Uh, one of our viewers sent us over Christmas. I had a little bit of this last night with my meatloaf. It was so good. And then we got this at Bo Vista, which is uh, one of the places on Apple Hill that we went this last fall. And then this is Carrie's favorite. It's homemade chili sauce. Well, it's bought at the store, but it's real. All those are really good. I cannot wait. One of the things I love so much about meatloaf are all the sauces you put on it. It was stressful at halftime, but the Niners pulled it off. Ah, oh, so good to beat the Seahawks in the playoffs. It's been it, actually the only other time I think we've played them in the recent history. They beat us on interception in the end zone, like right at the end of the game. That was a rough one. This one, Niners cleaned their clocks. So <laughs> if you're a Seahawks fan, sorry. <laughs> No one got hurt. Bring on the next team. Let's go. I don't know what we're doing the rest of the day. It's Saturday. It's really relaxed around here. Let me show you what Carrie's doing. Hi. Hi. If you would have come like two minutes earlier, I had my 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 circus of zoo creatures with me, but they've escaped. I had Kaya with her head on my shoulder and Nico was sitting on me, but, but Nico left. And Kaya will be here whenever I want her to be. Yeah, she's a great girl. High five. She's always hungry now since she's pregnant. Got a little fire going there? Yep. Reading? Yep. Happy Saturday for you, huh? Yep. I bet. Alyssa, what are you doing? Playing on the Switch? Yeah. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah, where, where are you? <laughs> where am I? Where am I? You're not there, though. Kaya, are you hungry? Are you for dinner? It's close to five o'clock. It's her dinner time. You just say food, dinner. You excited for dinner, Kaya? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you excited for dinner? You want some dinner? Good girl. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Nico. Ah. We finally hit a calm and it really has been like not raining at all all afternoon, but we're supposed to get another good storm coming in tonight. It's supposed to last through, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday. Then that should be it. Usually we would love all the rain. In California, we've had this really bad massive drought for a number of years now. All this rain at once basically just fills up the ground because our ground is really hard. And then from there it just floods, which is why you've been seeing so much news about flooding all over the state. I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but I am so beyond thankful. We redid our backyard this last year, enabled us to put a drainage system in our backyard, which really makes it so we don't have to worry about our backyard being flooded. We had dinner this last week uh, with some viewers that live here in Modesto, and we connected with them over YouTube and on Instagram, and we set up a time to get some dinner, and it was so fun connecting with them. Uh, Robert and Amanda, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> First of all, we had such a good time with them uh, at dinner, but it was so helpful to get uh, just the perspective of someone who is a recruiter in, in the job market. Advice, the insight they gave us was just so, so helpful. That was such a good time we had with you guys. Thanks for coming out to dinner with us. Looking forward to seeing what this week holds. Uh, I think what we'll do is put the camera down. I'm not sure when we'll pick it up next, but when we do, you guys will find out because it's, it's going to happen like 
now. It is Monday, not morning. It's Afternoon. almost it's almost noon. It is noon. It is noon. So <laughs> we decided to go out for a walk today. Yesterday it rained like crazy. Last night. Last night. Well, yeah, last night into the morning it, it was raining like it was a lot of rain. Actually, so much so that I did the same walk yesterday actually with one of you who lives by us that we met up and walked around. This area that we're about to show you had no water in it yesterday. I mean, part of the ponding basin had a little bit. But now it looks like a huge lake. It's Lake Modesto. Yeah. So nuts. Like, this is from one night. Check this out. You can see the fence. The water is covering the fence. That is how deep it is. And like Carrie was saying, like yesterday, there was really, was there no water in here? Okay, so where that path goes down from the top to bottom, Yeah. Amanda and I walked that oh yesterday my gosh. a couple times. There's no water there. That the is water, so crazy. Th there's usually a little bit of water on this side. Um, because that's like the ponding basin. And everything right here is, there's water there, but never this much. I am so glad I slept with earplugs last night. Me too. I saw there was a storm coming and it keeps waking me up every night. And this morning I was like, oh, maybe it didn't rain so much. Yeah, it did. It rained a lot. Yep. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah, this is that path that Carrie told you guys just a moment ago where it just goes right over there along the fence line. Do you have <laughs> a little video of Kaya and... Amanda's dog, uh, Curry, running around over right over here yesterday, and there was no water. Should have brought our boat. Yeah, we have two inflatable ca canoes or kayaks or whatever, and that would have been fun to take around here today. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. I had an idea. <laughs> it's, it's cold. Just a little bit earlier, I drove Alyssa over to her friend's house and dropped her off, and I got a little bit of video of the residential street flooding. We actually haven't left the house all that much during all this because... Not a lot to do when it's really raining a lot. Yeah, our, our neighborhood has not been that bad. Oh, let's keep going on our walk. Well, we walked around a couple times. It was nuts, but we're gonna head back home and not sure if we're gonna be sharing much more today, but we definitely want to share that with you guys as we were walking past it. This week really is all about building routines. I, I started on that last week. Last week was the first week of the year. The girls are back in school. Started working on some resume stuff, but this week I really want to start building some uh, good, healthy habits and routines because it would be very easy for me just to take each day really slowly. I really want to focus on my resume, networking, getting out there. Today though, I actually have a few meetings over Zoom. Uh, the first one is a consulting meeting I have with someone uh, who wants some help with the YouTube channel. It's been really good getting to know them a little bit and uh, however I can help, that's my hope. And right after that, I'm meeting with uh, someone that I'm working with for my resume, uh, resume coach. By the way, if you're looking for a job out there uh, and you're unsure about your resume, find a good resume coach. Uh, the one I've been working with is phenomenal and I'm so excited I made that decision to do that. The rest of the week is really going to be working on resume stuff, continuing with job search stuff, trying to get my LinkedIn profile uh, ready to go uh, so that when I am ready to start searching I have everything in my arsenal and I'm really excited about where this journey is going to take me. So I'm at my computer, about to get to work, but you see the espresso machine right behind me. Carrie got these hot chocolate dark chocolate hot chocolate sticks from Trader Joe's over the holidays. I don't know if it's something they have you around. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Dropping those in, pouring the hot espresso and the steam milk over it to make an amazing mocha. It is incredible and I'm so happy to get my day started this way. Today we're not gonna be doing too much uh, on camera, but I just wanna get on here, say hi. Uh, I got my day started, I was really happy. So I just wanna share that with you guys. I wanna give you guys a little bit of an idea of what my workspace looks like right now. I'm editing uh, some video, actually the video that you're watching right now, I'm working on it. But this is uh, just a little bit of my workspace. I got my uh, Mac Studio right there. And I got my laptop over there, which is not plugged in, but it's just charging and sitting there. I got one of my favorite things from my old office at the church that I used to have, a Tiki Scentsy warmer. It just gets the creative juices flowing with scents. And honestly, we use a lot of different Disney parks scents in that one, and we love it. Got some really great speakers there. This is for my uh, cell phone charger and my AirPods. These are different coasters that I've collected from Disney trips that we've had over the last few years and use those for coffee cups and whatnot. Here are my Beats Studio 3 headphones that I use when Carrie doesn't want to hear what I'm working on. Got my hard drive here. That's where I keep all of my like long-term storage for stuff. Got my iPad up on a stand. If I wanna just watch a video clip of something else or just if I need a break from what I'm doing or I need another screen up, I can actually connect the screen on my iPad to 
what I see here on my computer. I got my favorite Logitech keyboard right here. Got my mouse and my Magic Trackpad. Love that thing. I've got a spot to plug in all my devices right there and I have another hard drive right there. And of course I got my dual monitor set up which is incredibly handy. And I got a little webcam right there uh, for zooming. This whole space works so, so well for me. And just to give you an idea, this is Carrie's space. We got some uh, artwork up and other things up here. Right here we actually have some like classic books that Carrie just loves to have. That's her inspiration when she's either writing or when she is working on school stuff. Just She just loves to have some inspiration and some things that she has up here just to kind of help her um, get her creative juices going. You can see outside, this is the first day in a while. It's overcast, but it's the first day in a while where we have not had any rain and it is so good. Carrie and I were talking about this yesterday after walking back from the park that we showed you where that big flooded basin was. I think we have had almost three weeks straight of rain, almost the whole week after Christmas, 10 years, and then the last two weeks have just been full of rain and it has been crazy. I'm sure you've heard about it in the news. Uh, thankfully, it's it's so good to have this break for our state, for our area. I have to go back out sometime today and do what I showed you guys the other day. I have to empty more water out of our pool. Hopefully it's the last time this season I have to do that, uh, that we don't have too much more heavy rain back to back like that. But I'm just gonna work on some editing and then work on some resume stuff. Uh, get a little stuff done around the house before my Zoom meetings and uh, probably pick this up tomorrow. Good morning, it's Wednesday and I just dropped the girls off at school, I'm headed to the gym. This is part of my new routine. I wake up in the morning early because the girls have to get ready for school, get some coffee in me, spend some time together uh, around the table and then take the girls to school and then head straight to the gym. It's been a while since I've been to the gym and so I was there yesterday. It just felt so good to be back there and exercising again. Excited for the day ahead, looking forward to get a lot of things done. Right now I have an appointment with the elliptical and the stair climber. <laughs> I'm back here at the park. It is Wednesday. We were here on Monday when it was all crazy flooded and it's back to normal. You can see behind me the ponding basin where usually there's a little bit of water and you can see some and that's how it normally is. And the path that was completely covered with water, now it has a bunch of debris on it. I mean, it really doesn't normally rain in California, but that is probably what the purpose of this ponding basin is. Uh, we think it probably has neighborhood runoff that comes straight here because this was a lake and it was within 24 hours that it became that way and now it's gone. You can see all this debris, so this is how high up the water probably was. It's still wet down there. And then this whole area, the entire green area that people normally play soccer on, play with their dogs on, was full of water. It's pretty amazing. Well, I'm back in the car, back here at our high school because I'm picking up Lindsay to take her to the doctor's office. She had a uh, flu after Christmas, had a little bit of an ear infection last week, and we're just gonna go make sure it's gone and make sure there's nothing else going on there. And then we've gotta get gas because, you know, check this out. It says we got six miles worth of gasoline left, but 23 miles left on the electric. This is a hybrid, so let's see if we can make it. And guess who made it to the car? Hi. Hi. How was your day? Eh. Eh? eh. That's your response after most school days. Well, we're pulling in to Lindsay's doctor, and so we had about 10 miles to go and about six miles of gas. That's awesome. I love this car. Well, doctor's appointment went well. Good news. Lindsay has no issues anymore with her ears, but... For the most part. Yeah, for the most part. I think we have maybe half a mile to get to the closest gas station. I think we can make this work. We're so enthusiastic about this season. We're getting gas. But we had we had to drive 10 miles, but we only had four or five miles, six miles of gas. Getting gas is not an adventure. But we're trying to make it fun. But why? Because it, it's obviously annoying you, so that's my purpose in life. We made it to, to the gas station here at Costco. Got a full tank of gas, ready to go. Carrie and I are actually coming back to Costco later tonight when we take the girls to youth group, uh, do a little shopping, and we'll bring you guys along for a little bit as well. Costco haul, ooh. <laughs> We're back home. 
Carrie's making dinner and she wanted to show you guys something and I'm gonna get behind the camera because she's gonna do much better at this than I will. What he said is true. He's very good with the, the smoker outside, smoking the meat and stuff like that, but. This is your house. This is our house. Well. Do you mean my kitchen? Oh, this is my house, yeah. Um, although you help with the dishes a lot. That's over here too. Thanks. So, I mean, Chris is really good at like following directions to the tea and making really delicious things from a recipe. He doesn't do it very often because um, that takes a really long time. I'm good at throwing a bunch of things together and sort of following directions and usually it turns out good. Tonight I'm going to make a recipe from the Barefoot Contessa cookbook. I've been making a lot of recipes by Ina Garten. I don't know if I said her name right. I, I actually have never watched her show. Um, what happened actually is that a friend brought just some cauliflower to a potluck, which might seem like a weird thing to bring to a potluck. It was the most delicious cauliflower ever. She gave me the recipe. It was from one of these cookbooks and I thought if she could make cauliflower that good, I'm buying her cookbooks. So now we have many of her cookbooks and everything I've made in her cookbooks is delicious. And some of them are super simple things I already made, like scrambled eggs. I never followed a recipe for scrambled eggs, but I followed hers and they were the best scrambled eggs I ever had. Or like oatmeal, weird, but anyway. So this is a split pea soup recipe, which I am following somewhat closely. So if it's not the best, it's because I'm only following it somewhat closely, including I'm gonna use the Instapot instead of cooking it on the stove. That's how I make dinner a lot. We're actually in somewhat of a hurry because we have to bring the girls to youth group and then Chris and I are going to Costco and we cut them back. This will be ready. Kind of like a slow cooker. It's like you get it started like a slow cooker and then it just stays warm. It's it a fast so slow it, cooker. It's a fast cooker. <laughs> some of you have asked one for us to show you some recipes. So I'm showing you this, but also to see some, some kitchen gadgets. So we're going to show you the instant pot, um, but also I love Pampered Chef products. When our kids were really little, starting when Lindsay was six months old, I started selling Pampered Chef. I was a Pampered Chef consultant, which was great. I did that for five years. I have pretty much everything from Pampered Chef. Um, I haven't bought anything new in a really long time, but I would like to at some point. I was actually even thinking of doing a Pampered Chef catalog show sometime soon and being a host, because that's kind of fun and seeing the new things they have. but. Um, if you have a Pampered Chef product or any product, kitchen product you love, tell us about it in the comments. So one key thing, Pampered Chef, is their chopper. I've had this, I mean, you can see it has a, a crack in it. I've had this chopper for over 15 years. I use it all the time. I use it mostly on onions and nuts and chocolate. Real easy. We just <laughs> chop up the uh, onions like that. I'll finish doing that in a minute. Um, another one I love is their peeler. This noise the peeler makes, our old cat, Gizmo, he was really antisocial. But anytime I started peeling potatoes or carrots, he would show up all of a sudden. And we never really figured out whether he just wanted to play with the little carrots that sometimes dropped on the floor or if he wanted to eat them or what, but he would always show up when I was peeling carrots. So that was really funny. This is not something we're doing right now, but since we're talking about Pampered Chef products, I wanted to show you one of my favorite products. We have, where we live, so many people have oranges. Our neighbors have oranges. We have an orange tree, but it's new and it is barely producing anything right now. But we get bags of oranges at a time. So this makes it so easy to cut. I'll take out like four <laughs> or five oranges and do that real quick and put them in a bowl and then they somehow disappear. Everybody eats the oranges. They're so good. The other one that is great with Pampered Chef is the garlic crust. Hold on. Another product I love are these, um, batter bowls from Pampered Chef. They're glass. I just had them in the microwave because I was heating up water. This is a very affordable way to do chicken broth. I know it's probably not the healthiest option, but it's better than some things. So you just heat up the um, water and add the better than bouillon. So we have chicken broth, we have onions, we have carrots. I'm going to chop those in a minute. We have potatoes, the split peas, I'm adding pancetta. I'll show you how, what I love about the Instant Pot is you can saute your onions or brown your meat or whatever in there. It has like a saute function. And then you can use it as a slow cooker or you can use it as a pressure cooker. And that's really nice because when I used to use the crock pot a lot, you had to um, saute or whatever on the stove first, burn it on the stove and then put it in the crock pot. And this you do it all in one pot, so less dishes. I already have the Instant Pot on saute. I'm gonna add, I measure 
very precisely for baking, but for cooking, it's just kind of like, it's gonna be good, hopefully. I'm gonna add the garlic. Garlic press is great. You don't even have to take off the peel with a Pamper Chef one. I have had this garlic press for 15 years and it still works great. So that's that's what I love about Pamper Chef products is they last for a really long time. We're just gonna saute this for a while, add the other ingredients. I'll show you how we turn the Instapot on. I know some people are afraid of an Instapot because it's a pressure cooker. It won't let you open it until all the pressure comes out. It's kind of hard to show you, but there's like a, a lock here and it will not, you cannot open it if it's still under pressure. So you can let the steam out slowly and naturally like it will probably do while we're gone. Um, or if you need it right away, you can release it. And once all the steam comes out, then it will open. So you don't really have to worry about like an explosion, at least with the newer Instant Pots. I mean, I've had this one for several years. All right, we have all the ingredients in the Instant Pot. It's still on saute, so it's already pretty warm, which means it will come up to pressure pretty quick. But I want to show you, well, listen to this funny sound. It's on saute. And now I'm just going to hit cancel and pressure cook. This was not um, a recipe for the Instant Pot, but I'm just gonna put it on soup and I'm gonna do it for 30 minutes, which is really just a guess. Maybe I should do it for 20 minutes actually. See, that's how I cook things. And then we have it keep warm because we're gonna be gone for a while and when we get back, it should be ready to go. That was the noise I was waiting for, the beep, beep, beep. We just dropped the girls off. We made it to Costco. This will be an interesting Costco trip because we're gonna be shopping, sticking to the list. Yes. <laughs> Not getting any extras because we're on a much tighter budget now. Yes. Why don't you guys come with us? Yes, <laughs> we do our absolute best to not get anything we didn't plan for. <laughs> One of the first things we saw were these Oral-B toothbrushes on sale for 70 bucks. That's a really good price. We actually have these, so we're not gonna get them. And they also have replacement heads for 40 bucks. Holy cow, it's like getting a printer and then getting the ink. This citrus tree has more oranges on it than our orange tree gave us this year. So I guess this is a better place to get them. We only got one orange. I know. Our, our lemons gave us lots of lemons and our limes gave us lots of limes. Well, this wasn't on the list, but it's a good sale. Dang it. We're already failing and we're only two items in, but yeah, 12 bucks, eight bucks off. That's really good. And we haven't had a good bottle of red wine in I feel like a month. Yeah. Costco does have a lot of wine options, so that's really good if you like wine. I'm not actually going to buy this because I like to buy like the 50 cent garlic heads, but I wanted to show you this. This is where I was born. See these hills? My dad's house is back there. Gilroy, California. Garlic capital of the world. The winner. Best date. Best uh, January 30th. We love these mini uh, bell peppers. We got some of these last time, so we don't need them again, but we love those. $6.99 here at our Costco. Again, no broccoli, no cauliflower. What the heck? They had it last time I was here, but two times ago when we recorded our last Costco video, they did not have it. I need broccoli and cauliflower because I love it. <laughs> We're just gonna get that wine instead of the potatoes because this is $12. And I usually buy my potatoes at Trader Joe's anyway. They are not $12 there. I don't need that many potatoes right now. That's a lot. I'd rather have wine over potatoes anyways. Oh, we're good. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that in Costco. I still purchased it. I just wouldn't have if it was much. <laughs> I have never seen ham and cheese pastries at Costco before. Let us know in the comments if you guys have this. Ham and cheese pastries. That's really different and new, honestly. If I just looked at these, I would think that they're like cream cheese pastries. Of course, they're right next to the red velvet cakes. It's January. They have corned beef. I do not like corned beef. Chris likes corned beef. What? St. Patty's Day is coming in March. I know. But we're that's... not going to be here for St. Patty's Day. We're going to yeah. be on beer cruise. That's true. I was going to say, tell me what I should make for St. Patty's Day if it's not corned beef. We're going to eat whatever we want on the Disney ship. That's right. <laughs> I like bows. Oh, two bows for 290 calories. That's not that bad. No. Maybe we could try it. That'd be a good lunch. So, okay, this is not on the list, but I do look for new things that are not too expensive and aren't too many calories and this fits that description so we're gonna try it awesome bow asian style steam buns and by the way we came too late there are no samples sadness but we have good yummy split pea soup waiting at home way to stay positive with meat in it yeah a little bit <laughs> we were just talking about the fact that we're gonna be on the disney magic on saint patrick's day that's the day we board the magic kind of hoping on the magic that wherever we eat 
that they have a special menu option for St. Patrick's Day. I'm curious to know if that's going to happen. I guess we'll wait and find out. And we love Costco's non bread they have here. It's so good. Alyssa especially loves it. She eats it all the time. And Carrie is looking for something with uh, the right date. They're all the same. I just wanted to make sure because you want to get, especially for something like this because they last a while. That's the true. Best date. February 3rd. I like to get these little mini hummuses. Alyssa likes hummus a lot with her non bread. And I like these ones because I feel like when you open the big one, it goes bad really quick, but these ones are all individual. So it lasts longer. $5.99. And this is a lot for this item, $14.89. We usually get these during the summer when I would take salads to uh, work with me. These are amazing in salads, but my gosh, 15 bucks. Maybe this year, if the prices stay the same, we may have to grill our own chicken at the beginning of each week. They have eggs, yay. The price isn't too bad. There's been some times recently they haven't had any eggs. I have a friend recently who posted that the giant thing of eggs they have was $99. That is crazy. So I guess it's a bird flu. Avian um, flu, I heard. Yeah. yeah. Um, but thankfully we got eggs. We eat eggs all the time. I eat them almost every day for breakfast. I'm glad they had them. Got some San Pellegrino bubbly water. We like to have those every once in a while. Pretty much one a day. It's nice to have something other than just water. Sparkling water well, that has flavor. A lot of coffee. This is something right here we might get if we're not trying to eat healthy and if we didn't care about what we're spending. <laughs> that looks it so looks good. Yummy. It would probably take us like two months to eat through it too. Ooh, many ifits. Ooh, ooh, Hagen does. Ooh. Uh, let's keep walking. Okay. I was just having a uh, conversation with a few friends. If you guys grew up with Bagel Bites, were you a Bagel Bite person or a Totino's pizza roll person? Let us know in the comments. I was a Bagel Bite person. I love Bagel Bites. You had to put them in the toaster oven to get them perfect. Microwave, if you let them sit for too long, they got too hard. Let us know what you think. It used to be $9.99, not anymore. Like a lot of things. Something we get almost every time we come to Costco, or at least every other time we come to Costco. Salted sweet cream butter, fourteen twenty nine. I pretty much always do sweet potato fries when we do burgers. Those are important in our household. Very important. Very delicious. The girls like tots. Yeah. We Alyssa actually she likes the sweet potato fries. We love sweet potato fries. Yeah. This is our favorite sour cream. Daisy. So good. They still don't have Kirkland espresso blend. Every time we come here we look for it. Haven't had it for months at our Costco. That's oh, okay. We keep finding other options for espresso machine, which we're using like every day. So nice to, I just have regular drip coffee in the morning and then the afternoon around two. That's like a treat. Yeah, it's, it's a great treat. Four fruits, fruit preserve. This is huge. Ooh, Bon Mammon. Strawberry, cherries, red currants, and raspberries. Ooh, that sounds good. That thing's huge. It is huge. It's like as big as my head. I'm not getting it. Oh man. I love good jam. Yeah. This is new for Costco. They haven't had this before. Alyssa really likes the fruit and yogurt. They did have one oh, before yeah. that was split fruit and yogurt and the banana one that no one likes banana. So that just nope. sat there. I think I'm going to get this. Okay. Good luck getting Lindsay to eat that. No, I'm not going to try. It's going to be Alyssa. Oh. Lindsay loves her sugar bombs. Of course, we would never give our child that. <laughs> <laughs> they call Corn Pops sugar bombs because that's what they're called in Calvin and Hobbes. For a long time, these were like my favorite. Like these are better than like Ho-Ho's, better than Hostess cupcakes. I love these. It's like raspberry filled with like a lot of cream and it's covered in chocolate. So unhealthy, but <laughs> it's so good. I love these. I actually started just keeping these in the freezer and I use it mostly for toast, but it, it keeps really well. We but love the sliced sourdough. The prices of everything have gone up. I've started trying not to waste <laughs> as much. This is gonna go in the freezer and I think we're gonna do some sandwiches this week. Mm. Some like turkey sandwiches and stuff. I love sliced sourdough sandwiches. So, yeah, basically every morning I have eggs and pieces of this toast. Oh my, oh my. Chocolate churro turtle chips. <laughs> wow, what is that made out of? Like fried yumminess? Potato chips? Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. No. We'd probably so eat good. the whole bag, just the two of us. I know. No. Man, why do we have to eat healthy and save money? We want to save money so we can go on our Disney cruise where That's we will true. not eat healthy. No, we definitely don't eat healthy on vacation. So we love these bear apple chips. 
I've been. I was eating them on Saturday during the Niners game. So much better than churro chips. <laughs> yeah, I was eating these. I just had the bag on my lap. The Niners game this last Saturday and trying to eat something healthy but yummy. And we got the Niners game coming again against the Cowboys on Sunday. My parents are coming up for that game. As much as I'd like to get a bunch of snack food that we can nosh on during the game, we're trying to limit our budget. So, so I'm making homemade pizza. Harry is making homemade pizza. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be good. Yeah. And your mom's bringing lemon bars. That'll oh, be good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And probably some other snacks. Oh, your good. Mom, your mom will bring snacks. She right? will. She My mom is the queen of snacks. Are you going to bring snacks? Let us know. Because you know, <laughs> I mean, this could be out on Saturday and the game's on Sunday. So, Barbara, we hope to see some snacks. Yes. That would be awesome, Mom. <laughs> so, the last time Karen went to Costco, just a couple weeks ago, this was after the Costco haul we shared with you guys. Carrie got this soap for the house to replace all of our Christmas scented soap that she got here, the hand soap. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I, I think I used English pear. We love it, it's $11.99. Definitely get this if you see it at your Costco. All right, what's the damage? 202. Nice, $2.02, and two cents. we scored. I was I was uh, hoping for around 200, so we did it. Good job us. Yes, good job us. We just walked out of Costco. Carrie and I noticed this on our way in. I don't know if you guys have this. Let us know if you do. This is really cool. I don't think we've ever used this before, but there's a food court cell service kiosk. You can just pay for your food right here at this kiosk without having to go inside. That is so awesome. Let us know if your Costco has this kind of an option in your Costco food court. Well, we got the stuff in the back of the car. Well, you got the stuff in the back of the car. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I just wanted to go. I'm hungry. I know. Yeah, we're going to get home so we can enjoy that split pea soup, and we'll share a little bit of that with you guys as well. We're going to share the soup with them? Like... We're going to let you guys know how it is, <laughs> and we'll show it to you. How about that? Okay, I just thought maybe you had some new technology <laughs> you could share it over the video. That would be amazing. Shopping at Costco on a tighter budget isn't as fun, but there's a little bit of a fun challenge to it. It's like a puzzle for me. I'm trying really hard to stay within my grocery budget. We did it the first half of the month. We made yeah. it and that, that was exciting. So yeah. we're trying to make it the second half of the month. I hope we can do it. Yep. I think we will. All right, well, let's get home. Okay. All right. We just got home from Costco and we need to eat quickly because Carrie needs to get the girls from youth group. Yeah. And I'm really It cool. smells amazing. So with the Instapot, it is on the keep warm setting. So it probably already had all the steam come out and opened. See, it opens automatically. But if it, if it was still under pressure, I could press this little button and all the steam all the steam would come out and then i'd be able to open it it will not let you open it if it's still under pressure well here's one of the ways we were thrifty at costco and staying within our budget is we saw some really yummy looking french bread that we could have got to have with our soup but it was six dollars which is not that much so i'm like we're already gonna get the sourdough bread let's just make some toast with it and this was basically like 650 and we're going to use this for a lot longer than we would have used that French bread. So little things like that are ways that we stay in the budget. And mostly we just don't eat out like at all. We eat here all the time. We passed by the brand new just opened uh, Raising Cane's. Tonight would have been a good opportunity for that. So if you don't know, this is an immersion blender. So you just stick in the wand and it blends it up. Now it looks a lot more like split pea soup. Another thing I want to say is we make soup in the winter all the time. And the main reason is we'll have it for one dinner and then we'll have it for lunch, maybe all week for several days out of the week. That's a really good way to stay on budget is to make a big pot of soup. I mean, this thing probably cost us five to $10, mostly because of the pancetta. And that's going to be lunch all week and dinner tonight. So sounds good for me. Yay for budget friendly. Yay. And yay for split pea soup. Well, it's, it's not good. very pretty. It's kind of gross looking. Ready? Let's eat. All right. <laughs> I missed. Totally missed. It's very hot. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. What are you doing, Nico? He's trying to jump up on the windowsill. Oh, there he goes. Okay, you're a good kitty. I thought you were going to jump on the table. All right, let's try this. Wow, I really thought you were about to make fun of me. Well, I was about to put a little float of sherry in with it because I like that. And like this and like clam chowder. Sorry. The Hello, over here. Playing with something and he was cute. <laughs> I'm not cute. Look at the cat! Yeah, yeah I yes, guess you're, you're right. Yes, you're cute. I was about to put a little float of sherry on here, and Carrie said... In a very high-pitched voice, Wait! Taste it the way it is first! <laughs> it was really good. I'm glad you put that pancetta in there. I'm definitely still gonna want some sherry. Alright. Which I knew I would. I wanted to humor you. Tell us how it is with the sherry. That's good. I'll try yours, and then I'll see if I want to add it to mine. Alright, here's Chris's. Oh my gosh, that's hot! <laughs> first, I was like... Did I put too much in? <laughs> I 
I don't know how, but it kind of like passed my tongue and just burned my oh, throat. Gosh. It was just. Oh, I hope you're okay. Did you kill your taste buds? <laughs> no, just my throat. That is good. I think I'll add a little to mine. Cool. All right, we just finished dinner. I've actually got to go to Walgreens and pick up uh, some stuff for Lindsay. That's what the doctor ordered. But I, I do want to say something about this soup. This is what the cookbook showed in the picture. How come what you actually make never ends up looking like that? Because this is what it ended up becoming, which I'm not going to lie. I love split pea soup. I had it growing up. It, it's one of my favorite soups, probably a top 10 soup for me. There is a certain thing that this looks like. And if you've ever had babies, newborn babies, you probably know what I'm talking about. That looks a lot better. We did have toast, just not like well, good morning, it's Friday. Well, it's not morning, it's almost afternoon. I'm here at the American Red Cross and Carrie and I are gonna be giving blood. Uh, she's gonna be doing it a little bit later in the afternoon and she's probably gonna vlog a little bit of that herself. I've got my water, a cookie Carrie made last night. I'd rather have a homemade chocolate chip cookie than what they give you here after you give blood. And I've also been drinking a lot of water because the last time I gave blood, I passed out, no joke. And so my goal today is to give blood without passing out. And they say, hydrate yourself. So I've been doing that all morning and last night, which means I've got to go to the bathroom before we get started. So I'm going to head in there. I'm going to head in and I don't know how much of this I can vlog or what they'll let me uh, share. So I'll get what I can and I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. Blood donation is done. You can see right there, awesome red bandage thing. Didn't pass out had plenty of water. Super glad I was able to do this today, donate blood and give to people who really need it right now. Carrie is actually going to be uh, doing this and vlogging a little bit of herself, maybe just kind of checking in, but I'm going to send that over to her right now. So I guess Chris just uh, donated his blood and now it's my turn. Just so happened that we're doing this on the same day at two separate locations. I am at a church, not one I've ever been to, but one really close to my house. And it was just on that um, blood donor website. They give you lots of options. And I usually go to the, the blood bank place where Chris went. And when I was looking, I was like, oh, that's right by your house. That'll be great. So here we go, going to the little blood van to give them my blood and um, I might show you a little bit of that or I might not. We'll see. <laughs> well, I didn't take very much video. I tried to get a little video when I was giving blood. It was awkward because my uh, little cot thing was faced right towards another guy. And then afterwards they have like a whole snack area you can go sit at. They call it the cantina, I think. And you're supposed to sit there for 15 minutes and eat snacks and drink water or juice. Here's my arm. Went well. Seven minutes and 17 seconds. So I don't know how long it took Chris, but... Hopefully more than that, and hopefully I beat him. Well, Carrie just got home from her blood donation appointment, and she got really excited because something came in the mail for Lindsay. I'm so excited. I ordered something for Lindsay for Christmas. I ordered it like two weeks before Christmas, and then after it didn't come in time, I looked at their website and it said it had to be ordered by the end of November in order to come by Christmas. So that stinks, but now it's here, and I'm so excited. I'm also Are we going to give everyone a sneak peek before Lindsay actually sees it? Yeah. Well, oh. no, she'll see it tonight. Oh, that's true. By the time you guys see us, Lindsay will have seen it. You're going to see this tomorrow. I, this was like another, I apparently am easily sold by things on Facebook and Instagram, but um, this could either be great or it could be not great at all. So we'll see. <laughs> okay. pajamas with Kaya and Nico. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you want a pair for yourself, don't you? It's her. Oh my gosh. She's going to love it. She's going to freak out. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. Oh my gosh. I have a fit there. I love it. Hey, look, you're on the pajamas. She just wants to eat whatever's on the floor. Yeah. I'm going to go show them to Nico. Oh man. You're on the pajamas with your best friend Kaya. He likes them. Does he care? Yeah, he likes them. Oh, he does. But he wants to attack them. I'm sorry, I woke you He's up. He's been a lazy butt today. He's been up here all day. Yeah. Lindsay's home. Here's your present, Lindsay. Happy Christmas. A month late. It's very. It's a blanket thingy. What is it? It's a bee! It's a bee! 
so for just a dog. Oh, it's a cat too. Well, she calls Nico the bean. He yeah. looks yellow, but whatever. Oh, they're pajamas. Right, they these, are. Ones, these are way too long. Oh, that's fun. Hopefully, Grandma will be able to fix them for you. <laughs> oh, we did it! It's cute. Don't forget about the dog. And you Kaya. Kaya. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Alyssa has not really at all been in the vlog all week. How are you doing? Trying to get the TV to work. Well, it's Friday. That makes sense. You're like ready for the weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, how was your week? It was, uh, okay, I guess. Boring school. I get it. I just joined the Christian club at school. First oh. meeting was like right after school today. Oh, how'd it go? Good. Yeah. Well, Lindsay finally got her fi last Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. She's obsessed with her cat. Obsessed. Could you tell? That was just a snippet of like always yeah. obsession. That's why. I got her those pajamas. Yeah, and I felt bad for, for Kaya because, well, I'm sure Nico gets more attention Kaya's from Lindsay. Kaya's feelings were very hurt. It's been a fun week, all the way from sharing with you guys a lot of our crazy storm. I don't know if we ever mentioned it to you guys. Maybe we did, but if we didn't, we actually also got a tornado warning. Oh yeah, we were woken up at 3 a.m. Yeah. to like a our phones like blaring screaming at us it woke us up the girls woke up we all went downstairs to try to be safe and i think later that day or the next day we found out there an actual like level one tornado hit like maybe 50 miles from us or and 40 miles from us we live in california We're in california there, we don't have weather here no we, we have, have weather the, the, we have this kind of weather we have occasional earthquakes yeah that's about it yeah we don't have weird weather no that's one of the reasons we live here. Yes. <laughs> we got a little bit of a taste of what uh, some of you guys probably yeah. deal with on a regular basis. And let, I'll, we'll just be... He does. He wants to say goodbye too. We got a taste of that kind of weather, just a small taste. When Californians experience crazy weather like that, we freak out. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to drive. We don't know how to like carry ourselves and handle life. I have no problem admitting that. If you're confused by how we're reacting, that's just how it is around here yeah well i think that'll be it for the week thank you guys so much for watching we had a lot of fun sharing some of it with you guys i think we'll upload again in a couple weeks not sure what that will look like but uh, we are really enjoying this bit of a break uh from youtube a little bit of a slowdown in the, in this month and next month so well we'll see you guys in a few weeks take care bye bye